Hello everybody, my name is Ed and welcome to a very exciting Jewel Jewel Overload unboxing video. Before we start, a very quick shout out to the guys at Konami EU for having us down. It was really exciting to get the opportunity to open this early and I'm really excited to show you guys some of the cards that we got. By the way, a quick shout out to Farfa, It's Brad as HD and Rev's Cards who also opened these. So if you guys want to go and see more unboxings, go and check out their videos as well. Let's get straight into this video and not waste any time. So one of the first things I was really excited about out were the giant cards that come in this pack, the exclusive manga stylized black and white cards. I got the Dark Magicians here, which I'm really excited about. There's also a Black Xyz one of Infinity, which I know some people are going to be really excited about. So let's get straight into our actual pack openings. In the first pack, we kick off with our new Link, the Extra Hero Infernal Divisor, some Cubic Causality, quite a lot of Cubic and Infernity cards, so people are going to be excited about that. Magical Musketeer Caspar, King Dragoon, not the Dragoon that people wanted to see, but still a Dragoon and Speedroid Marble Machine. Always nice to see some pendulums. Lib, who's not Ib, but she'll do. Terraforming, Firebrand Hymnist, a really beautiful card. Really like all the colors in this one. Synchro Transcend, another card people are going to be looking to use quite a fair bit. And Raid Raptor Wise Strix, which Farfa was very excited about, so I'm assuming this is a good card. Starving Venomy Lethal Dose Dragon, the longest name I've ever seen. Blackwing Zephyros the Elite, Herald of Mirage Light, Phantasm Emperor Thick Logic, and Enma's Judgment, which I called Enma's Judgment because I'm hilarious. Mayakashi Mayhem. This is one of the three exclusive cards that you guys are going to see in this set, all of which you are going to see in this video, so stick around and make sure you guys see which ones those are. King Yosukui as well. Super Veacroid, Stealth Union, a Transformer-esque boy, and Hysteric Sign. Nice to see some Harpies support in there as well. Chaos Dragon, Leviathan, very beautiful art in that card. Card of Fate, a very cool card to have. Dark Anthelion Dragon, an Xyz Pendulum, looking cool. Swap Frog getting a reprint, which is exciting for a lot of people playing frogs. And another Magical Musket Tier Caspar. Dingirsu, although I think it's a little bit late for that, but still a good card. Soravis, the Ancient and Ascended. Hollow Giants, the second of our exclusive cards. Keep an eye out for the third one later in the video. Magic Formula, which I believe has only had one printing, so this is actually going to bring the price of that card right down and hopefully bring more support to the Dark Magician cards and also Destiny Hero Celestial. Now, that's all the cards that we got in our first pack, so let's move on to our second one. The giant card that we got in this one is one that Farfa was really excited about. I want you to get into it, guys. Oh, it was. Oh, Oh my god, you actually got it. Do you want to swap? No. Oh my god, I can't believe it. <laughs> I was literally, I hope you get a tour guide. I will literally give you two for one. I'm all right. So let's go straight into the first pack of this. We had Ten Ye Spirit Sahatra Deck Lockdown. Hysteric Sign again. Scrap Orthos, which is a really cool card. And yes, a double evolution pill because I am a dino boy through and through and I'm pleased to see that getting a reprint. Tour Guide from the Underworld. Great to have the double in one pack, which I was really pleased with. Number 27, Dreadnought Dreadnoid. Really like the straight lines on this card. Simorg Bird of Sovereignty. Really pretty colors in that card. And in blue. Harmonist, the melodious composer. Really love the colors in that. And another Phantasm Emperor Thick Logic. Madolce Pudding says Chocolate a la mode, a really cool Xyz card. Giga Plants, a lot of plant support in this one as well. Six Samurai Fuma, Abyss Actor Hyper Director, who very much looks like he's from The Voice, and Witchcraft of Madame Vere. We have Yuki Honor, the Absolute Zero Mayor Kashi, Malefic Tune, like I said, lots of Malefic and Cubic cards in this, like Cubic Ascension. Golden Castle of Stromberg. And another link of Protector Whelp of the Destruction Swordsman. Alien Shock Trooper M-Frame. Really like the design on this card. Lots of lots of blades and dragony features. Black Queen Zephyros again. Herald of Mirage Lights. And our third playset of Thick Logic. Now, this is the most exciting pull that I had throughout the whole day in our last pack. Or so I thought. It turns out we were actually given three more packs and I also went through the other guy's cards. So stick around. The video doesn't end here. Last pack of the day. Last pack of the day. Last pack of the day. <gasps> That's exactly what I wanted from that Crystal Halky Fibrax. Yes. It's really cool to see that this card was in there. Sadly, the rest of this pack was a little bit of stuff that we've already seen in the video, so nothing too exciting there. But yes, I am so excited about Halky Fibrax. So these are Farfa's cards. I'm just going through some of the ones he had. He got Crystal Fibrax as well. He got the Reptilian. He got the Sky Striker. The new Predaplant Verte Anaconda, which I know a lot of people are quite excited about. We have the Y Strikes, the Ancient Gear Ballista. I really like the look of that card. I'm trying to make sure I rattle through these as quickly as 
as possible. We had Ojama Emperor, which I know a lot of people are excited about. And he had two of Salomon Great Armorage, which he was very excited about. So lots of people are going to be playing that. And he had Fantastical Dragon Phantasme, which I was insanely jealous of. And I hope you guys managed to pull a few of these as well in your one. I think they're probably short printed. So let's hope. Last Warrior from Another Planet, which I know some people used to play quite a fair bit. Scrap Orthos, Hysteric Sign, Deck Lockdown, some of the zombie cards, more fusions, which is always exciting. Cybernetic Overflow, and of course, my double evolution pill that I love. And just a few other cards, again, that you've already seen, but still very exciting. And also a Chaos Goddess Synchro, which I didn't expect to see in there. So these are It's Bradder's HD cards. He had some exciting ones as well, some ones we haven't seen yet, like Infinite Impermanence. Was really jealous to see that in there, but great that it's getting a reprint because lots of people are going to need that card. Mystical Space Typhoon, good to see that that's getting a reprint as well. Cubic Dharma, Malefic Territory, Malefic Selector. Like I said, lots of Cubic and Malefic cards in this, so some people are really going to enjoy the support that that's going to give them. Some more of the synchros that I didn't get, like the Psy Frame Lord Omega. We also had Digusto Emerald, which he got quite a few of. Also, Crossroads Dragon, which I know some people are very excited about, and Relinquished Anima, which has some of the coolest art in this entire set, and will hopefully mean some more Relinquished plays are going to be coming to YCSs and stuff very, very soon. Ferocious Flame Swordsman, cool to see that card being made playable. And then Hollow Giants and Trap Tricks Genlissia. This is the third and final of the TCG exclusive cards that we're getting in this set. So these are Rev's cards. Cards, that's a mouthful. But make sure you go and check out his video, It's Brad is HD, and also Farfa's videos, because like I said, it's really exciting that we got the opportunity to come down and open this amazing new set. So be sure to go and support all the unboxing videos you can to get those different perspectives on the kind of cards that we ended up pulling. It was such an exciting opportunity. And again, a big thank you to the guys at Konami for having us down. If you guys see any cards in here that you are interested in, feel free to pause the video and take a good look at it. Between us, we actually managed to pull almost every card in the set. I think we missed three, but because we were so far away from actually getting all of them, the guys were very kind enough to give us an additional three packs to actually go through. There's some really cool cards in this set, and if you're seeing cards that you go, I don't really know why that's in here, don't worry, it tends to mean it'll make sense further down the line with other releases that are coming later in the lifetime of Yu-Gi-Oh! One of the things I did end up doing was I actually ended up swapping my Dark Magicians out for a Stardust Dragon, because I like dragons. And here are the three exclusive cards in all their glory. An effect monster, a trap, and a spell card. And these are really, really cool that we managed to get all three. <laughs> so here we go, the final three packs that I just mentioned earlier. So we're going to see if we can pull anything exciting, which unfortunately nothing that we didn't have already, which was slightly disappointing, but we did get a Paleozoic, which I'm always happy with. But we wanted to try and see more of the Phantasme, more of the Infinite Impermanence. Sadly, we didn't see those in the final three packs because that would make these incredibly playable cards for me. But, you know, it doesn't matter. The cards that we did get were incredibly awesome and it's great to see some new prints and some old prints coming back. So there we go, a dual overload exclusive unboxing. Thank you very much for watching and thanks again to the guys at Konami for having us down and for letting us unbox these. Be sure to check out the other videos that the guys have made and be sure to check out the other videos on the Gamehold channel because I hope they're things you guys will enjoy. We'll see you in the next Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Take care, abysies.